Hey, 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 happy New Year's Eve. Man, I just wanted to pop on for the final Actors Daily Bread of 2018. As you can see, I had, I'm in chill mode. Well, actually, we've been running around all day, but I just wanted to pop on. I know most of you will probably see this tomorrow. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to pop on and just end this year. I could not end this year without um, just popping on to saying what's up to my awesome community. Hey, Arisha. Hey, Tiffany. Um, yes, Happy New Year's Eve. Listen, this is Actors Daily Bread, where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life you love. I'm not teaching you none of that tonight, though. <laughs> I'm not really teaching anything, but I really wanted to come on here and express some gratitude. Um, I'm Christine Horn. If this is your first time watching, I'm an actress and I'm a life and career coach for actors. I'm the founder of, Act of Hollywood Bound Actors, which is here on Facebook and uh, an amazing community. And, you know, I just wanted to pop on and just, first of all, express my gratitude to every single one of you, all my replay watchers who will watch this later. What's up? replay watchers listen hey tiffany you know today started kind of heavy um we got some unfortunate news me and a, you know some of my friends someone passed um yesterday and um it's one of those things you know when people are no longer with you it just makes you feel so of course it's a, a range of emotions certainly but it just makes for me it, it always makes me do a, an inventory of my of how i feel and of my life and what i've accomplished and who i'm loving on and who knows that i love them and who knows that they matter and who knows that oh, there's so much to live for and there's so much that we should be grateful for and I just wanted to make sure I popped on, you know, Hollywood Bound Actors was only created last year. Actors Daily Bread started in 2017. And since then, our community, the Hollywood Bound Actors community on Facebook has grown to over 830 people in the group. Not to mention the amazing actors who are in my Booking Magnet Academy or those of you who've taken a course here and there. So I just wanted to wish you I mean, any desire of your heart for the new year. You know, this time of year brings so many emotions for everybody, you know, because you know, we have family members who are no longer with us and, and there's excitement for the new year and nervousness and uncertainty. And what I just want to put into your into your mind space tonight, when I, as you can see from looking at me, we ain't doing nothing. This is the extent of my evening. <laughs> my husband Garland is in there cooking some collard greens. We're going to have some crab legs and some shrimp. Um, just be safe in the house. But I just wanted to just share one word with you, and that's faith. And no matter what your spiritual background is, I still believe like you have to have like unwavering faith in yourself, in whoever you know that you praise, in your career. You know, I know for many of us, as always. The years up and down, ebbs and flows. You know, I'm very transparent about that, um, about how this industry can be, how life can be, and um, I'm just always reminded that we have so much more to do. Hey, Sheena, we have so much more to do. So I'm grateful for each and every one of you for rocking with the Hollywood Bound Actors community. I'm grateful for um, the, the investment that you all have put into yourselves. I get to watch you, even those of you who I haven't had a chance to touch and hug on. I got to hug on some of you in it this past uh, season in Atlanta in August. You know, I'm grateful for the first ever Hollywood Bound Actors Live. I'm actually coming to Atlanta in January, second week to scout some locations for the next, for the second annual event. Um, and um, I'm just grateful for each and every one of you. And I'm, I'm, I wanna just encourage you as we move into this new season of a new year that you 
don't lose sight of what your vision is. And always remember that your vision is yours, right? I always like to compare it to wearing glasses. Like if I give you my glasses and you put them on, you ain't gonna be able to see, right? This, this is weird, it's blurry, it's too strong. You know, so sometimes your vision is too strong for people. Or sometimes people just can't see, they can't get with your vision. Hey, Sarita, hey, um, oh, my pleasure. God, Whew. we're just dealing with a lot today, but um, don't lose sight of your vision. My vision, my faith is what even has me sitting here talking to you, is what got me to show up every day on Facebook and on YouTube and to create this community. It's what helped me leave my friends and family all the way in Atlanta with my husband, who, God bless him, who just followed this crazy lady to LA, <laughs> you know, but it is that. And so no matter where you are, I know some of you are still working your nine to five. I know some of you got nine to five, five to 10. If I know Tiffany out here, my Jamaican sisters out here, you got like three other jobs. Plus some of y'all got kids, some of y'all are married, some of y'all got pets, you know, so I understand and never, I never forget that that was my reality not that long ago. But I would drive, I, just a quick story, I would drive, you know, I sh I've shared often that I worked at a nonprofit organization in Atlanta. And I worked there, God bless, for on and off 15 years. I would quit, come back, quit, come back. And I was grateful to do work that I felt mattered. You know, I worked with people with disabilities. A lot of my clients had autism and Asperger's and physical and mental disabilities, all kinds of disabilities. And I was always humbled and learned so much and how in a blink of an eye, your life can change. So you could be working construction, you get hit by a car, and now you have a disability, right? And so you say disability and people think, oh, you're just, you know, have a mental issue. Like, no, there's so many, there's such a range. And it really, I learned so much from all of my clients. But I, every day driving to work, sitting in traffic that I hated, I would have Jim Rohn in my ear. I would have Tom, Tony Robbins. I would have Les Brown. I would just have, I would, I called my car four wheel university. <laughs> like it, it, it was a podcast. It was a audio book. It was something. And I say that to you just to, rem no matter where you are, because I know sometimes this acting thing, <laughs> like some of our family and friends can call it, can feel so far away. And it can feel humbling when you have to do something else to pay the bills. And I want to encourage you that do what you got to do, but don't lose sight. So even though I was working that nine to five and, and plus coaching part time and then acting part time, like I just stayed pouring into myself. You know, I was I was going through my Instagram account. Hey, Roxanne, I was just watching you on Greenleaf, girl. I was binging Greenleaf. Like I don't watch a lot of TV and then I binge like for like <laughs> two days straight. So I binge Greenleaf on Netflix. So shout out to Roxanne Sims, who's uh, in our Hollywood Bound Actors. Um, I'm a little emotional just because we lost somebody yesterday. So, but I just had to come on. So I'm not just, I'm just hanging on. Um, but I was looking through my Instagram account and I was like, let me delete some of these posts. I want to start, I didn't delete all of them, but I wanted to delete a chunk. But you know, deleting your Instagram is very, thank you for the love. Deleting your Instagram is very tedious. You got to delete, 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 delete. But it forced me to look back and I didn't realize how long I'd been on Instagram. Cause years, maybe about a year or two ago, I didn't really like see the point of Instagram. So I would randomly post. And I could challenge you, for those of you who are on Instagram, scroll all the way to the bottom. And I saw there were so many videos I had sitting in my car on my lunch break at my job. I had, <sighs> hold, hold tight to your vision. <laughs> Hold tight to your vision, hold tight to your faith, and keep pouring into yourself. I think that's, I didn't mean to come up in here and cry, but that is just, if I give you anything to walk into 2019, it's not how to get more auditions and how to market yourself. It is hold tight to your vision. So I would be in my car, I have no tissue in here, of course. <laughs> I would be in my car on my lunch break doing uh, inspirational 
video for Instagram. I would come home after a long day of work, put on makeup, put on a wig, and do a and do a motivational video. I used to do this series called Life by Design. It's still on YouTube. And I never take them down just because it reminds me of like, even when I didn't have it all, I was still trying to pour into someone and holding on to my vision. So I think, um, thank you, Sarita. I think um, that's just the word I have for each and every one of you in my community. We have built an amazing community here online. Hollywood about actors, it's not just about actors like trying to get on and like just network. Like there's a love and there's a unity here. Thank you, Arisha. And we need more of that. My main mission this whole year since the community started was to spread love. Every time we talk about marketing, spread love, spread love, spread love. And I don't, I don't mean that in a cheeky way, truly spread love. Because you never know who needs it. And, um, at, you know, losing someone, you just remember everybody doesn't feel it. And so you never know what you do and how it touches someone. And we are all blessed to be performers. Those of you who are in this community who are watching who are performers, you know, we're blessed to, to give back and to be an example in a, a shining light of who created us. So as we move into 2019, I'm going to go before I keep crying. Hey, Crystal. I got to meet Crystal Brown the other day. Well, I didn't meet her the other day. We had lunch the other day. That was beautiful. Another HBA member meetup. <laughs> I think I might, if I have time, I might try to do a meetup in Atlanta. I don't know. The, the timing might be so tight. Because um, I'm coming in on the 9th, but we have so much to do. But I'm going to go because... Um, Sarita says you created a space to hold each other up, which is a huge gift. Yeah, but you guys have you guys have filled that space. You know what I mean? You guys have filled that space too. So that's how we're gonna dominate. You know, I showed y'all, I showed y'all my little placard from TJ Maxx. Like domination is my word for 2019. But you know, I know without faith and without vision, honey, I Ain't none of this possible. So that is all I got for you. How do I get more auditions? Faith, vision, honey. How do I get more bookies? Faith and vision. <laughs> Faith, vision, prayer. You know, being loyal and dedicated to yourself and to what it is that you say you want. Like make it non-negotiable. Your dreams, your vision should be non-negotiable. There should be no one who can talk you out of them. We may hit triumph, we may hit roadblocks, we may have loss and grief, but your vision should be non-negotiable. And that's how you find the motivation. Oh, just remember, motivation, action breeds motivation. Motivation doesn't breed action. You just got to start. And so if your vision and your, and your dream is non-negotiable, then I think the rest will fall into place. Um, so I'm sending all my, all my love to you. Hey, Freddie Hendricks, my mentor. I love you too. We're over here trying to deal, Freddie. You know what's going on. Um, so I just wanted to end that. This is the final Actors Daily Bread of 2018. Thank you all for watching. There are so many more to come. I'm showing up all over your space. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Periscope, honey, we taking over. Um, we're going to keep spreading love and just um, go for it. Go for your dream. And I'm here and I'm honored. Um, I'm honored just to be a part of your journey. And I truly, I, I read the comments and I see y'all. I can't answer every single question I know, but I see you and I feel you and I love you and I'm grateful to be a part of your life. Happy New Year. Happy, happy, happy New Year for my Latinas. Feliz y prospero un año nuevo. And uh, have a good night.